those streets from 15 place right. back to St. Elizabeth. You got you got the graveyard, then you got more uh, fields, and then you got mm -hmm. the cemeteries that you're talking about, or cemetery you're talking about, that's further back up in there. Uh, yeah, that's the same but Robinson Place, that borders <laughs> the Jewish, if you look over, uh -huh. that's the Jewish cemetery, 15 place. Mm -hmm. Robinson Place is only about uh, two blocks up from Alabama Avenue and 15 place. I, I lived on 15 right. place. Oh. Well, right, I, exactly. I think we'll make that transition. Sure. We'll make that transition. I mean, I mean, my, I mean, my, my understanding is there was a gentleman, I cannot remember his name, I was in contact with him about two or three years ago. He's a, he's a some sort of organization for the preservation of Jewish cemeteries, but he was and he was somehow interested, and he, he told me that there's somehow, <laughs> the, the Jewish cemeteries, there's really four of them, or some... Like you can see these two of them. Right? He knew all about it. He was very, very interested in the cemetery, the, I think the two cemeteries that you're talking about that have kind of been lost in history. The gentleman, his name is... Addison Carter, Facebook president, he's always posting stuff. His name is like Car Car Addison Carter, Carter Addison. Hmm. Something he read for mayor a couple times. He has this book out. He was, when they did this um, exhibition at the Civil, uh, the, Mer the Community Museum, and something about the Civil War, he was featured. We had like this audio. He kind of he kind of did like a Diane Dale type book. And somehow his family, in his family is Jacob Moore, who he says was involved with the Moore Cemetery, hmm. um, and he has interesting. He's information about that in the map and stuff like that. But I mean, a lot of this history is very scattered. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's all. Awesome. Uh, was there a synagogue on there? Well, well, on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, where I think we're coming right into Southwest, was, um, was it Eugene Kinlow? Probably some of you know. So he was telling me that as a, as a, as a child, he thought there was like a little a symbol outside of. Um, a building that said, like, this was a synagogue. I know there was supposed to be a Jewish history program at the Smithsonian and Costume Museum many years ago, but for some reason it was canceled. Um, but I've heard grapevine that there was a synagogue on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, right where if you're coming off the highway and then you make the right, and then it was there. Uh, I'm not well, exactly sure. It would make sure. sense if there's a community here. And it would make perfect sense. It would make perfect sense because otherwise you're going to come all the way from. Right. Across the bridge. Well, there was, as probably many of you know, there were a lot of uh, Jewish they pharmacists in southwest Washington. I mean, Al, Al Jolson grew up in Southwest Washington, and there was other kind of famous, you know, I guess Jewish, uh, what, uh, entertainers. Yeah, he's come up in there. Okay. Is there any other questions for them? All right, we thank y'all, man. Man, all right. We're going to have a part two. So we're going to switch up, and then we're going to go into some. He does. <laughs> they do offer tours. He did. Okay. We are gifts, though. And we're going to make that transition, unless y'all want to stay up with the longtime residents. All right. Oh. My husband. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Why don't you share with us your history of the museum? Or, or uh, about the museum? Yeah. I will. I'm going to have to sit. Okay. I should have had a power plant. My husband tried to do it. Well, I'm just going to put you in the room. I'll come back to me. I can write my information. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have the camera right here. We have two of all time, long term. Lifetime residents of, of Southeast, Abdul Alim Shabazz and Habib Muhammad. Abdullah Mateen Shabazz. 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 Email Abdul Mateen Shabazz. Long term residents. Okay, well. My, 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 uh, my father was born in 